what we see today uh, with power utilities is the uh, emergence of the OTIT bridge, the bridge of information coming from the plant uh, and transforming that then up into the corporate environment to, to gain more leverage out of that data. And so the way I see that is more of that change, right? So there's going to be more sensors in the in the uh, in the plants that will then pr provide more uh, data, which then will need to be transformed into something useful. As you add more and more of this information, that becomes more and more data to try to to filter through. So we'll see a lot more applications to help transform that data into useful information. I think you basically covered the the high points of of that. It's definitely going to be a lot more information. You have big data. And that big data transformation is going to you're going to take the raw data, turn it into useful information that power companies can then leverage to optimize their optim operations, increase efficiency, and uh, be more competitive and more sustainable in the future. There's a, a number of factors that can drive the change and likely will. One is the generation mix. Uh, or change in, in power industries happening today than ever before with renewables, with microgrids, with uh, you know uh, the distributed generation, things like that. And what's happening is the base loaded plants that traditionally would generate power have to be reactive to the grid as the wind blows, as the sun shines, and more or less power is being loaded on the grid. And it becomes very complex to manage all this, and the only way you can efficiently and effectively manage it, manage it is through software automation. And Schneider Electric uniquely has end-to-end -end solutions to help with this. Yeah, I would, I would say also, I would like to add to that, I think digitization is also um, an, an investment area that's, that's being, is, is very powerful today, actually. Uh, Germany has a big initiative, uh, a country initiative, they're calling it Digital 4.0. China has an initiative called China 2025. So a lot of um, markets are adopting this digital philosophy. And the question becomes Schneider Electric, how can you help us on this journey, this digital journey? Because there is the, um, the, the rate at which low cost, low power sensors are, are becoming available really pr creates a challenge for, for companies and uh, certainly in the power industry. Yeah, no, absolutely correct, and uh, that all plays into the IIoT, the Industrial Internet of Things, and which creates into more data, and what do you do with it? And you need solutions to turn it into useful information, so absolutely. And a third thing that I would also add uh, in terms of what would influence the change in automation and the extensive use of automation in the power industry is the aging infrastructure, both on the generation side and the transmission and distribution grid side. Um, there's certainly a lot of new plants being built. There's also uh, much more that's already in existence and they need to get either retrofitted or they need to identify where the problems are. And in generation, the problems are in assets in specifically in the processes so that you can optimize and not lose efficiency, you want to identify where to do the maintenance, improve your maintenance practices. In uh, transmission and distribution, we want to find the needle in the haystack where the problems with efficient power transmission are occurring. And there's a lot of very sophisticated software tools that help with this, and Schneider Electric provides a complete portfolio of those types of tools. The consumer is becoming smarter. Um, the, the, uh, the smart TV, the smart phone, the smart appliance, the smart car, a smarter consumer. What that means is they're bringing that touch point with all of this data that's available and bringing that into the, the factory. So we're becoming much more smarter, if you will, a smart factory. And so I see that driving a much more intelligent um, operations, a much more intelligent way of um, performing asset management and also making better decisions on the corporate level. And I also see it being on the other side of the coin as well, the power producers and the power uh, providers being smarter as well. So now they have more information because sensors are less expensive, they're more prolific and more deployed, they can get a better picture of what's going on in their operations end to end where they never could before. 
There's also edge devices where they don't have to go through a major SCADA system or a major infrastructure to get the data stored, to get the data analyzed. And that data analysis converts it from raw data into useful information that they can then take action on and loop back and continually improve their processes and become more and more efficient to their, for their customers. There's many challenges uh, in the power industry. Uh, there's, with all the benefits of renewable energy, distributed generation, microgrids, and some of the latest generation technology, also comes challenges because you're feeding power in many cases back to the grid where you can't predict when you can't, will be generating because when the wind blows, when the sun shines, and you have to be able to manage and balance the load on the grid or the, the power generation on the grid with the load uh, in terms of traditionally base-loaded plants that aren't conducive to cycling high and low very quickly. And that's a big challenge both from a financial perspective and an efficiency perspective. It requires sophisticated analytics and control systems end-to-end, -end, and Schneider Electric provides solutions for that type of problem. There's aging infrastructure, aging power plants, aging grids, and these, uh, these types of assets and facilities need to be optimized and you certainly don't want to rebuild them but you want to find out where the problems exist before they become bigger issues and you want to find out where your efficiency losses are before they become bigger issues. Schneider Electric has software to help monitor and drive and pinpoint where these issues are in very sophisticated end-to-end -end systems that are interoperable with other systems. And then the third part the third issue that needs to, is a challenge that needs to be addressed is the ITOT bridge. So going from the operations network to the uh, business network. And typically operations systems stayed on the operations network, control systems stayed on the control system network, and business systems stayed on the business systems network and they were independent of one another from a security and a control and a reliability standpoint. Now we're sending data directly from the control network to the operational network, or to the uh, business network, and uh, make, making use of it. The commercial groups are making use of it. Uh, executives are making real-time use of it. Contracts are being negotiated off of it. And efficiencies and maintenance practices are being uh, deployed based on it. So that's a challenge, and it requires uh, sophisticated systems to effectively carry that out. But it's an important aspect that, in today's world, has to be undertaken. I think a couple key points here are the role of the utility is changing, particularly in North America based on some of the factors that Jim was talking about. The power is not just flowing today from the power generation plant through the transmission network, through the distribution network, to the home. Now homes are also generating power through solar. We've got other independent operators that are producing, uh, like as Jim said, as the wind blows. And so we have a dual flow of power. So the role of the utility is changing because it's not a single direction flow. So we have to be able to address those types of, of challenges. And the, the main one that's driving that challenge is how do you become more efficient? Because now if power is also being produced by the consumer, you have to, be, you have to adapt. And that means your models have to be more efficient. So we provide solutions in the power plant to help drive efficiency, improve equipment reliability, so when they are called upon, the equipment can produce the electricity that's called to do that. So we've got asset management systems, um, efficiency improvement systems, as well as business intelligence for them to understand where they need to make those changes.